Hi, this is Willow Creek Homestead, and we're from Idaho, and we're Homestead Homies, and you're watching Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. What's up, Homestead Homies? Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. Thanks for the intros. We really appreciate it. I'm Stacy, and I'm Doug. <laughs> So you guys, uh, you know, we're working on the garden area. We're going to be catching you guys up to speed. We're a little bit ahead of you guys on showing you. Uh, we're trying to work through these videos. And uh, so one thing that Stacy wanted to try. Yeah, I don't, we don't eat a lot of potatoes, like white potatoes. We do a ton of sweet potatoes. So we plant a lot of sweet potatoes, but um, I want some white potatoes. So I'm going to do some red potatoes and some Yukon gold. And um, I wanted to do it in, I've been wanting to do this for a long time, is just do them out of a crate made of pallets. A container. So I'm um, having my lovely husband here showing me how to make one. Yeah, so basically um, most of you guys know pallets are a great resource. They're a great DIY project. Um, uh, actually, actually, we had a visitor, uh, we'll link that video right here to the homestead, and they actually made a floor um, out of uh, the pallet wood, recycled pallet wood. So there's a lot of good resources um, that you can do and things you can build with the pallet wood and 9.9 .9 times out of 10 you could probably find them free uh, a lot of people discard them just make sure you ask before you take them and uh, make Definitely. sure it's okay to you know take them from the property and uh, most of the time no one ever has a problem with it so we're going to take you guys along on this diy potato box build and uh here let's, we go yeah let's get started i'm excited okay so we're getting our pallets together out of the pile of pallets that we were sitting on and there's a couple things you want to consider when you're building something like this. A is, see this pallet behind me? That's a blue pallet. You don't want to use anything with paint on it or any kind of treatment on it when you're um, having it in contact with your food, okay? Most pallets are made from super raw material and they aren't treated. Um, it costs extra money to treat things, so then they have to pass that on to the customer. So you're usually pl pretty safe, um, but just miss, uh, you know, obviously the obvious. You can see the blue paint on there. The other thing you want to consider when you're getting your pallets together for this project is that you have the same size pallets. Pallets come in a lot of different shapes and sizes. Um, so you want to find four that are going to be very close to the same um, measurements as square. All right, so we brought two pallets over here. This is going to be inside of our garden area, and you guys will understand that later as the videos progress. So what I'm going to be doing is using some of my wire that I've, um, this is recycled wire that I've used on other projects. I always, if I ever take my wire apart or, you know, I, I use it for something, and, you know, I always try to wind it back up because I'm always reusing it. And this wire is invaluable on the homestead. Also, if you get some uh, hay, hay bales, um, try to keep those if they're wire tied. Keep those and uh, you know they say that wire tied hay bales and uh, uh, rope tied hay bales keep the homestead together. <laughs> they, they sure do. We got it hanging up everywhere in our barn and it really comes in handy for so many things. Yeah so basically I'm just gonna wrap this around here and uh, tighten this down and we're just gonna create a box with four pallets. Pallets and wire. Now that we have our four pallets put together for our do-it-yourself, no-dig potato bin, we're going to get some free leaves from our property. Now we're going to lay our leaves down inside the box first as a base layer. Now we're gonna use, you can either use straw or you can use hay. So we have some hay that has been used by the sheep um, and they spread it out over the ground. So we're gonna repurpose that and it also has a little manure in it. And just, that's right. So we're gonna go rake up some of that now and then we're gonna put it in here and then we're gonna show you how to continue on in the project. All right. Now we're going to repurpose this hay from the sheep earlier and we get an extra bonus of some added manure for our potatoes. All right, now we have our straw. We probably won't add all of the straw on this one. We're probably just going to put some of it in and we're going to show you what goes on on the inside before you plant your potatoes.
So what we've done is we've opened up the interior and we've created a cavity. So we're gonna fill this in. We have this dirt, it's compost dirt. So we're gonna put this in here now and then we're gonna show you what's next. So once you have your potatoes, you usually cut them about a day in advance so the wet side dries off. It gets like a callus on it, like you get on your hand. And then you plant them the, with the eye up. So we're just going to lay those around the dirt. Alright, so after we have them placed in here, uh, we spaced them out about six, eight inches apart. And then we put some leaves over the top. And now we're gonna put a little more straw in there. Just a little bit. And we're just gonna make a nice little blanket for them. All right, so we have all of our uh, stuff in there. We covered it lightly. Uh, you don't wanna cover it too much. So then what's gonna happen is, keep it down over there. <laughs> All right, what's gonna happen is the potatoes are gonna start growing and make sure, like Doug was saying, that you plant those potatoes with the- uh, um, Eyes up. The eyes up, always have the eyes up. So they're gonna start coming up and when they're up about an inch or so, we're gonna go ahead and put another layer of that mixture of either your straw or your hay mis mixture and um, some leaves and some compost dirt. And then um, when that is done, you're gonna just cover up it a little bit and then this is the time then you can start waiting. So you can wait till it gets to be three, four inches. So every three, four inches it's gonna grow. You're gonna cover it up a little bit more and you can leave a little of the greens on it now. And then the greens that are gonna be covered up, you're gonna just be creating more and more potatoes. So hopefully this whole thing, if we have good season, it'll be filled with potatoes. And you just keep filling it up as high as you can. So as soon as we put planted these in and we put the first layer over, we're gonna um, water it pretty good. This is our, uh, non our filtered water. Our rainwater from our 3,000 gallon gravity fed rainwater catchment system from our barn to our house. Where's the link? It's right up there. So we're gonna show you guys videos throughout the uh, growing time and you'll see at the end of the season when we harvest this, how well it really works. And as we're growing in our garden, this year we'll be able to show you as we're adding on, we'll be putting that in some of the videos that we're doing around the garden. And, and another point that I wanna make about this is, you know, for years, Doug and I were doing potatoes just in the ground and digging them. And in the middle, in the heat of humid summers here, it's really takes its toll on you. So something like this, just seems like it'll be so simple for us and all we have to do is open the door and then get our potatoes out pretty much. One of the philosophies that we do try to keep here is aging in place. So as we get older we're trying to simplify our methods so that way harvesting the food that we grow for our health becomes a lot more easier. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And on May 7th and 8th we will be um, talking at the uh, Baker's Creek um, Spring Planning Festival in Mansfield, Missouri. So check that out. Yeah, we'll try to leave a link down below if you want some information on that. And we hope to see you there. Otherwise, we'll see you on the next video. See ya. Hey guys, thanks for watching our video. You might want to check out these videos. And if you want to become a homestead homie, click the picture of us below. We, we will, will see, see you, you tomorrow. tomorrow.